Well, Professor Clements, as we continue discussing in Chapter 2 of Open Sex College Physics, we've talked about distance and displacement. We'll go one step further now and talk about speed and velocity. And really we're talking about average speed here. If we have knowledge of the total distance traveled and we have knowledge of the elapsed time, then we divide those two numbers and we come up with the speed. And in the metric system, meters per second or kilometers per hour will be common results. Velocity is a vector and requires um, displacement, not distance. And again, that displacement is the uh, final position minus the initial position. Keeping track of direction, that might be keeping track by virtue of the plus or minus nature of displacement. We divide by the elapsed time. So again, meters per second or kilometers per hour, and we'll have a direction attached. Uh, so again, if we're uh, starting at this home and going to the store and coming back, and it takes a half hour to do that 30 minutes, we could calculate the average speed by taking the total distance traveled, three kilometers there, three kilometers back, total distance is six kilometers, and divide by 0.5 hours, we'd have 12 kilometers per hour would be the uh, the speed there, the average speed. The displacement is zero, recall, and consequently the velocity is zero. The average velocity is zero. We have zero divided by 0.5 hours. That's the legal calculation. You can't divide by zero, but uh, zero can be divided into. So zero divided by 0.5 hours, we'd have zero uh, kilometers per hour for the velocity. Uh, suppose we have a car going eight kilometers to the north and then that car travels three kilometers to the south. All this happens in 15 minutes. What is the average speed? What's the average velocity? Again, speed is distance traveled divided by elapsed time. Velocity is displacement divided by elapsed time. So you should pause the video and do this calculation. Calculate the average speed, calculate the average velocity. And I first, my first step, since I want hours, uh, kilometers per hour, not kilometers per minute, um, I'm going to convert 15 minutes into hours. 15 minutes is a fourth of an hour, so 0.25 hours. The total distance traveled, car went 8 kilometers to the north, then 3 kilometers to the south. 8 plus 3 is 11 kilometers for distance traveled. Divide by 0.25, you get 44 kilometers per hour. The velocity, 5 kilometers to the north, is the displacement. Remember, 8 kilometers to the north, and then we come back 3 kilometers to the south. The displacement is 5 kilometers to the north. The car is 5 kilometers north of its starting position. And this happens in 0.25 hours, so we get 20 kilometers per hour to the north with the velocity. Notice that the uh, speed is typically going to be a larger number than the velocity. Um, unless we're traveling on a perfectly straight line with no uh, retreat, no coming back, reversing direction, um, the speed will be greater than the velocity. If we're moving in a straight line and not retracing our motion, then the speed and the velocity can be the same number but uh, the velocity will still have a direction attached that the speed won't. Then the book has some graphs here, so showing position versus time um, on this particular graph. Down here, velocity versus time, and down here, speed versus time. So why is it that the velocity becomes negative? Why does the velocity become negative? Well, if we would calculate the displacement here, if I can roughly read this. So, 6 kilometers is the ending position at this particular time, 0.25 hours. And 0 kilometers was the start. So, the displacement is plus 6. And dividing by the time, that's going to generate a positive velocity. But on the second part of the motion, we start at 6 kilometers. We end at 0 kilometers for the position. When I do the subtraction, this is 0 minus 6, final position minus initial position. 
those zero kilometers minus six kilometers our displacement is minus six kilometers and dividing by the time that gives us a negative number why is the speed the same value in both uh, halves of the motion well speed is just the distance traveled and this object has just gone out to the six kilometer point uh, that's a distance of six kilometers divided by the time we get a, a speed number from this peak out to uh, the final position that's again six kilometers of travel and a time and again we have a speed that's this particular number just a positive um, the displacement here is a negative value which creates a negative velocity the distance traveled is just a pure number and it doesn't become negative it's still a distance of six kilometers to get to uh, this ending point so you can think about that and that's the, uh, the stopping point here and talking about uh, about speed and velocity and we to find the uh, the speed it's the total distance traveled divided by the time for the velocity it's the displacement divided by the time um, we will talk about instantaneous velocity as well if we would shrink down the elapsed time towards zero then we get uh, more accurate uh, blow by blow second by second information on the velocity and we can come up with instantaneous velocity and we'll use that in the equations uh, later in the, in the chapter um, and thinking about uh, you know calculations here you know let's suppose a certain person lives uh, in Omaha and drives 27 miles drives 27 miles and it takes 35 minutes we might pause the video and calculate the speed 27 miles 35 minutes we're back 35 minutes is 0.583 hours and dividing 27 miles by 0.583 hours we get 46.3 miles per hour uh, suppose the displacement the straight line distance is 23 miles well 23 miles but divided by the same time 0.583 hours now we have 39.5 miles per hour to the northwest going from Omaha to Fremont 39.5 uh, miles per hour to the northwest and again we see this that the velocity number is a smaller value than the speed number uh, for speed we get credit for all the turns and twists in the roadway for velocity we don't get that credit it's as the crow flies the displacement is a straight line distance so read think ask questions that's velocity and speed.